Throws it out near side, caught by McLaughlin, breaks the tackle, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. So I heard you've always wanted to play football at Arizona. When was that dream formed for you? My first game, my first college game, was definitely the moment that I really wanted to play for Arizona. Um, you know, I went, as I was a sophomore in high school, went and watched them play in Pullman, playing Washington State, and they whooped them. And they win it tonight. Arizona 59, Washington State 37, that's our final. Uh, they whooped Washington State, and so I had a really good time. And I, you know, I've been chasing my dream ever since then. But it was a dream that didn't necessarily come quickly nor easily for the Canadian. I originally uh, signed to play uh, basketball in Canada. Um, I wanted to play basketball, but I, I knew in my heart that football was what I was brought here to do and, and play. So, um, you know, I decided to do an extra year of high school down here in Arizona, actually. After his year in the States, McLaughlin fulfilled his dream of playing college football, signing with Southern Utah. How would you describe those three years there for yourself? Uh, growing. I grew a lot there. Um, you know, I, I kind of figured out who I want to be in this life and, and where I want to go with this sport. Uh, obviously, I had a lot of ups and downs there. Didn't have the career I really wanted there. Um, you know, tore my ACL there. But uh, like I said earlier, I wouldn't change any of it. What was that whole rehab process like? It's the middle of the pandemic. You're looking for a football team and you're YouTubing rehab workouts. <laughs> Uh, so the, the YouTube thing is funny because when I originally said it, I, it, it almost got blown out of proportion because I had some great st uh, staff at Southern Utah help me out, some great people. Um, so I can't say everything was on YouTube, but a lot of it was. And, uh, you know, it, it just comes back to betting on myself. That winter, he decided to bet on himself one more time and walked on at Arizona. It wasn't hard to make the jump, but I was excited. It, it, it really re-motivated me um, to keep doing this and keep working on my craft. And work was what he did. First, to be put on scholarship. All that hard work, you know, pays off for a, for, for a few moments and then it's right back to work. And then to have one of the most successful seasons in tight end history for the program. So you played 12 games this season, which is more than you had played previously in your college career. What was clicking for you? Just trusting the people around me and trusting the process. You know, Coach Fish, Coach Pow Pow, um, my teammates, they've all been great supporters for me and they've been really encouraging. And, you know, I just, I look around the room, I look around the field and see, like I said, these brothers that I'm, I'm playing with and it's not hard to get up and compete for them every day.